Today we are installing these surplus military ammo cans which will serve as toolboxes when I'm out on the trail. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mark where the box is gonna sit and I'm gonna be using a Sharpie. What I'm gonna do to mark the spot for the bottom holes, I'm gonna take the drill, mark the holes. So as you can see, I have left a half an inch uh, space between the box and the other tube because the lid is a little bit wider. So when it closes, it needs a little space to go through here. The last thing I'm gonna do before assembling the whole thing is to paint any exposed metal that could be because I do not want anything to rust. I'm using this duplicolor black paint. You may be thinking, this design is a pain in the ass, it's incredibly hard to get to the bolt, etc. That way, it's super difficult to steal, so no one's gonna come here and take my shit. I'm going to install these U-bolts. I'm gonna drill here and here, and I'm gonna put it through, so I can, when I close the lid, I can put a lock on it. What I'm gonna do with this zip tie is that I'm gonna hold the lock. The lock is not gonna be swinging round and round and scratching everything and bumping into everything and making noise. I just returned from a test drive and nothing rattles. Everything is just fine and dandy. I'm gonna take a little bit of WD-40 one thing I did not know when I bought these boxes is that these are the ammo boxes that are used on the GAU-2B and the M134. If you do not know what a GAU-2B or an M134 is, here's a video of them in action. So yeah, these are the ammunition boxes that feed the M134 miniguns. I'm guessing each one of these boxes is like 30 seconds of firing power because those things fire like 3,000 rounds a minute, so... The great thing about these ammo boxes is that they are completely waterproof, aside from the holes I just did on the bottom and the sides, but uh, whatever. It seals perfectly and no moisture gets in or out. The last thing I also did off camera was install this lock on my spare tires. I don't want anyone to steal them. <laughs> so that concludes the video on installing the ammo cans as toolboxes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, leave a big thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Oh.